Understanding in the King's Favor, a Guide to English Idioms. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, in the King's Favor. This idiom might sound a bit royal and old-fashioned, but it's packed with meaning and history. Understanding such phrases can add depth to your English comprehension and make you sound more like a native speaker. Let's explore what it means to be in the king's favor and how you can use this expression in everyday conversation. In the king's favor is a phrase that originates from times when monarchies were more common. Being in the king's favor meant that you had the approval, support, or preference of the king. This was a significant status because the king's favor could grant you access to privileges, positions of power, and protection. In modern terms, it translates to being highly regarded or supported by someone in a position of authority or influence. To fully appreciate this idiom, it's essential to understand its historical context. In medieval and early modern periods, royal courts were centers of power. Nobles and courtiers would seek the king's favor to advance their status, secure titles, or gain land. The king's favor was not easily won and could be lost just as quickly, making it a constant pursuit for many. This historical backdrop adds a layer of depth when using the phrase today, evoking a sense of ambition, strategy, and the desire to be esteemed. While we no longer live in a world dominated by kings and queens, the phrase, in the king's favor, still finds its place in modern English. It's used metaphorically to describe someone who is in a favorable position with someone powerful or influential, such as a boss, a leader, or an important client. For example, after the successful project presentation, I'm definitely in the boss's favor. She's been in the king's favor ever since she solved that critical issue for the company. These examples show how the phrase can be adapted to fit contemporary situations, emphasizing the value of being highly regarded by those who can impact our lives or careers positively. Using idioms like, in the king's favor, can make your English sound more colorful and expressive. Here are a few tips for using it effectively. Understand the context. Use this phrase in situations where someone has gained the approval or support of a person in authority. Be mindful of tone. This idiom carries a formal, almost regal tone, making it suitable for more formal or playful conversations. Adapt it. Feel free to replace king with another title or role more relevant to your context, like manager's favor or teacher's favor. We hope this exploration of the phrase, in the king's favor, has been enlightening and adds a royal touch to your English language skills. Remember, language is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's also about the rich tapestry of history and culture that words and phrases carry with them. Happy speaking, and may you always find yourself in the favor of those whose support you seek.